How's it going everyone and welcome to the very first video here on this brand new channel. This is a channel where I'm going to be talking about a lot of aspects of Japanese things basically. It's hard to put it into words. Basically, I like buying a lot of Japanese stuff, um, Japanese trading card games, figures, um, clothing, just, just a, lot, a lot of stuff and I figured you know what would be fun? To put all that onto a new channel. So if you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Kel from the YouTube channel Red Zone Rogue where I talk about trading card games. I also make content for a website called Channel Fireball. But, you know, I do all this Japanese style stuff in my own time and I'm like, why, I should just make some videos about it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. So that's what this channel is. And I figured what better way to kick off the channel than to share with you how I go about buying all of this kind of stuff because I import almost all of it directly from Japan. And so in today's video, we're gonna go into detail on how I personally do that. We're gonna talk about uh, two or three stores, two Japanese stores and, and one other store that I like to, to buy stuff from. We're gonna talk about like the advantages, disadvantages. Keep in mind that this is directly from a North American you know, consumer perspective. I live in um, Oregon, right? So I live in Portland, Oregon, and um, keep, keep that in mind as we talk about this kind of stuff. I, I talk about that a little bit when I get into like, you know, the, the finer details, but if you are living in, you know, China or the UK or Canada, um, your import fees are gonna be vastly different than what they are gonna be for me. And that's something that's basically just gonna be unique to your specific region. And we're not gonna go over all of the regions of the world in today's video. Um, so that's just, you know, something that you will inevitably have to look at uh, for yourself to see what the, those kind of import fees are. I know it's pretty rough for some countries and I, I really feel for you folks out there. I have a lot of viewers on my other channel who are from like Germany and uh, the UK and I know the import taxes are, are really rough here. So just keep that in mind as we go. This is all from my perspective as a North American buyer. So yeah, I think I've rambled long enough. Let's get started with the, the main topic. It's gonna be kind of like a an in-depth one. We're gonna, we're gonna really go into this and, and show you the best ways, at least the best ways that I found to buy stuff from Japan, like I said. Um, figures, card games, just all sorts of stuff. We're gonna do uh, merch and apparel in a, in a separate video, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be useful. So let's get started. All right, and here we are on my laptop with our good old web browser active, and you can already see the first website that we're gonna talk about. It's the most obvious one. It's just freaking Amazon, dude. It's freaking Amazon. But you might not know that you can actually buy from Amazon Japan, depending on where you live in the world. So this is going to be from my perspective as someone who lives in the United States. If you live like in the UK or France or something like that, it's going to be a little bit different depending on like, you know, import fees, taxes, all of this kind of stuff that I don't, you know, I don't really know about because I don't live in those other places. I just know that there are import fees, tariffs, all this kind of stuff. So like I said, take it with a grain of salt. This is from a, um, you know, buying perspective of someone from the United States. So without further ado, let's, let's show you how you buy stuff directly from Japan from Amazon. And we're not talking about just using regular Amazon. We're going to be using the specific regional, um, Amazon for Japan. So that, that's all this. And also, you know, Amazon, big evil corporation. We're, let's get that out of the way. Right. But you know, it's also just one of the best places to buy stuff from Japan, to be completely honest. I would recommend some of the other stuff first that we're going to talk about because I would rather support them rather than supporting Amazon. But you got to do what you got to do. And I want to give you all of the options, you know. Um, I do buy from Amazon Japan um, and the shipping's pretty good and pretty fast. So this is just regular Amazon.com here. So you just go to Amazon.com and you can see here on the top, there's this little flag. It says English. Uh, we have Spanish and there's more, but we don't really want to change this. We want to leave it in whatever language you speak, but you want to go to change country region. You can do this on your phone as well. It doesn't have to be on your, um, on a computer. Um, it, it could be on your phone. Cause I, I do have, uh, you know, Amazon Japan set up on my phone as well. Um, so here you just go here and then instead of the United States, click it, just find Japan. There you go. Go to website. Now we're on. Amazon Japan. So you could do that from your own account. You will need to make a separate account. You can't use your current Amazon account, um, like your, your Amazon North America account, for example. You have to make a new Amazon Japan account. You could also, by the way, just go straight to typing in Amazon 
dot jp in the top corner you can kind of see that says amazon.co.jp you can just type in amazon.jp into your browser and it'll take you directly here so you don't have to go to you know amazon wherever you're from and then do the change thing you can just go to just amazon.jp but like i said on your phone on your phone here there is an option in the official amazon app to change it to that region so just showing you how to do that on here it's basically the same process on your phone and then from here make sure when you're buying something that you change it to english so you can read what it is so let's look up some let's look up some good stuff let's look up some weeby stuff i'm a big fan of we cross the trading card game and uh, let's look up some we cross stuff so we'll type in uh let's go to the search bar we'll type in we cross booster box and we should have some listings for some WeCross booster boxes. This is a really cool set, the unlimited selector. So let's let's say we want to buy this. We want to buy the unlimited selector box. So we'll open that up. And then here you can see that it's like mostly in Japanese. So if you're not familiar with like translating websites into other languages, it's super simple if you're using Chrome like I am. Just right click the page and click translate to English. It'll say like, oh, detected language is English. Yeah, yeah, we want, it, we want it to be English. And then boom, it automatically translates it into English. It's, you know, not the best translation, but it gets the job done. So you can kind of read about the product. Also, you can see, you know, I keep scanning over this. Look at that, adorable. Uh, you can kind of see here um, if they ship to the US, who sells it, who ships it. You definitely want to, to be shipped from Amazon, though I've bought from other, you know, ship, have it shipped from other stores as well through Amazon, but you know, any, anytime you buy from Amazon, both, you know, English, Japanese, wherever, you want to avoid sketchy, sketchy sellers. And so I personally, when I'm buying from Amazon Japan, I like to make sure that it's either being shipped by Amazon or sold by Amazon. And if it's sold by Amazon, it's usually pretty quick. Um, you should also know, see it has, says here, delivered to the United States. Not all products can be shipped to the United States and you know, and you know, that's true for your respective region as well. So you'll have to go and check to see if they can even be shipped to your region. So like, for example, I saw one on here earlier that I was like, oh, I really want to get that because it was pretty cheap. Hold on, let's see. I think it was for a ZX um, TCG booster box. I'm not sure if that's going to get to where, I, where we want to be. Eh, it, it does show some of them. There, there was a Zillions of Enemy X booster box that I was like, yo, that's a really good price and I want to buy it. But it was like, not shipping to the US. Let's see if it was this one. Here we go, yeah, yeah. So you can see this, really uh, really cute character, but your selected delivery location is beyond seller's shipping coverage. So they can't ship to the United States, which is a kind of, kind of a bummer. So it's like, you know, some give and take here. You have to do a lot of experimenting and see where you can buy from and what you can, you know, get. Uh, I would say the shipping itself isn't super expensive. It's usually, and we can go back here, it kind of gives you an estimate. Um, I said that weird. An estimate? It gives you an estimation of it. So we'll go back to the, the We Cross box and we'll say we, we want to get this box here. So it does give you an estimation here. You can always either, you know, type this into some sort of currency trans, uh, currency like converter, but a good rule of thumb for Japanese is you can just normally knock off the last two. So this is going to be around $30. It's usually a little bit less than that. So if this is like, you know, 3,280 yen, it's probably going to be around, you know, 29 bucks, something like that. And so that's true for the shipping as well. Shipping is going to be around 10 bucks ish. So keep that in mind when I buy from Amazon. And this is true from, for any of these Japanese stores we're going to talk about today. I like to make big orders so I don't have to pay for a lot of different smaller shippings. So I like to wait until I have I want to buy a lot. So for example, for, for this channel and for my main channel, Red Zone Rogue, where I talk a lot about card games, I wait until I want to buy a lot of different card games or card sleeves and that kind of stuff to do just like one big bulk order. Shipping is usually not too bad, but it can get quite up there depending on the size of the object. So Amazon Japan, super simple and one of the easier ways to do it, but you do need to make your own account here. Um, but I've been buying from Amazon Japan for a long time, a long, long time. So yeah. The second website that we're going to talk about today is Ami Ami. And um, let's uh, go on and go to Ami Ami if the page will actually load here. There we go. This is Ami Ami English. You literally just type in amiami.com and at least for where I live, it just automatically goes to the English site. You can kind of see here on the top that it does say amiami.com slash ENG slash. And this is the best website to buy um, both anime figures and um, 
Japanese trading card games. Basically, this is like the go-to place for Japanese, you know, um, hobby, otaku, weeb stuff. Um, AmiAmi is great. They have really good customer service. They, um, the shipping's kind of expensive, but price-wise, they tend to be a little bit cheaper than some of their English counterparts. So we'll talk about one English counterpart. There, there's a ton of them. There's a, there's a ton of them. So we're not going to go over all of them today, but there's, we'll go over one that I've, I've bought from before as well. So AmiAmi is the next one. Depending on what you want to look for, they, like I said, they have a lot of stuff, so... Uh, we already looked at card games. Let's say we want to get a new Anime Girl figure. So we're going to go to the Bishoujo figures here. And it's just going to have a massive listing of them. They have tons. They have tons. They have new ones. They have pre-orders. I highly recommend pre-ordering if that's something that you want to get. Because the way that Japanese... The way that the Japanese hobby market works, and this is true for figures as well as trading card games, is a lot of Japanese pr production places, factories, uh, companies, the way that it works is they usually only make pre-order and then sometimes like plus 10%. So they won't make a ton of figures, right? So like say that you want to get this Genshin Impact uh, Ninghuang figure, which is awesome by the way, and I'm very much considering getting this. If you don't pre-order this, there's going to be a very good chance that you're either not going to be able to get it, or when you are able to get it, the price is going to be jacked really, really high. And as you can see here, it's expensive, 27,000 yen, and you can kind of see the approximation here. It's about 247 US dollars. And that's another thing I like about AmiAmi. You can change the, the value here so you can kind of get a better idea. Um, and it also gives you a, kind of like a, you know, pre-sell discount on there. They, this price is actually, I mean, this is a very, very expensive figure, but AmiAmi tends to be pretty low compared to a lot of other ones. So we're going to go to another one real quick. We're still going to talk about AmiAmi, but I just want to compare the two. So here we have Big Bad Toy Store, and this is a place where you can just buy a lot of like figures and models and toys and that kind of stuff. But we're talking about Japanese stuff today. So we want to go to here, the import figures and statues, anime games, or you can literally just search whatever you want here. You can kind of see some of the stuff that I've looked for before. Beetlejuice, Helsing, oh, the Beetlejuice, uh, Bishoujo Beetlejuice figure is so cool. Here, I'm going to bring that up real quick <laughs> just because I was searching for it. Oh, look how good she is. I, I'm very much considering buying her. Look at this. She's so freaking cool. Okay. Anyway, let's type in a Genshin Impact, right? And you can see I've searched for Genshin Impact on here before. Um, so let's go to Genshin Impact and we'll, we'll try to find... Oh, they don't have the Ninghuang fig figure. All right. Well, let's let's look at this Mona figure, right? This uh, very lewd my dude <laughs> Mona figure. All right. Let's try to find the same Mona figure here on AmiAmi, Ami, right? So let's go to Genshin Impact and, uh, or we can just type in Mona, whatever. We'll kind of show you how you can navigate the site. So I went to Genshin Impact and then I'm gonna go to available and then I'm also gonna click on the Bishoujo figure and hopefully the Mona, here we go. So here's the, the pre-order for the Mona. So we can kind of compare the prices here. So this one is only 15,000, that's almost like 16,000 yen, $145 compared to the $220 here. 145, 200. That's a pretty big difference on $55 difference. Um, but, but the big thing is from Big Bad Toy Store, they have a standard $4 flat rate shipping. For AmiAmi, Ami, they're gonna be shipping from Japan and it's gonna be pretty expensive. Trust me, I've got orders and you'll, you'll see some of these on the channel coming up. I've gotten orders where I bought some big figures and shipping was like 150 bucks. I'm not even kidding. So that's something you really need to keep in mind when you're comparing these two prices. So if I'm just buying a single figure, right? And if it's going to be a big figure, then I think a place like Big Bad Toy Store could be worth it because they only have that $4 flat rate shipping. Another thing I want to note though, because this is being imported first um, to the US and then being shipped out, I've found that sometimes if you pre-order it through um, a Japanese store like AmiAmi, Ami, they'll actually ship the order first. Like you'll get it quicker if you get it from AmiAmi. Ami. And they also have a multiple different ways to ship. So you can do like cheaper options. I typically do DHL both on AmiAmi Ami and on Amazon Japan. I find DHL tends to be very reliable and very fast. Like I live in um, Portland, Oregon. And so it's, you know, just kind of a, across the ocean and it tends to be pretty quick. I usually get it within a couple days, which is hilarious because I'll get something, you know, I'll buy like a bunch of figures from Japan or some cards or whatever. And then um, I get it a couple days and then something that I bought that's like in freaking New York takes like two weeks. Um, which is just kind of a, just kind of a funny thing. So 
Anyway, uh, just keep that in mind about the shipping, right? So you see these numbers here, but the shipping can really get you. The way Ami Ami does shipping, by the way, is you would like, you know, pre-order this, click pre-order, and you proceed to check on. I'm not going to do that right here, but what it does is it doesn't calculate the shipping until it's about to actually ship to you. So the way it would do for the pre-order, for example, is you would pre-order the item, you don't pay for it yet, and then when um, it's about to be ready to ship, then they'll send you like an invoice and then you pay it and then they ship it. Honestly, Big Bad Toy Store is also very similar. Most of the pre-orders don't have a price, but you know, the really expensive ones like this Mona one has a $22, basically a 10%, um, you know, down payment on the figure because they don't want you to order the figure and then cancel it. And like I said, pre-orders are very important for Japanese stuff because they usually only make enough to pre-order, which is why some of the figures can be very rare and very expensive. Um, another thing I want to mention about Ami Ami that Big Bad Toy Store and other places don't have, and I, I, I would recommend Big Bad Toy Store, by the way. Uh, there's some really sweet figures here that I that I really am looking forward to, like uh, the Dark Angel Olivia. I really, really want this figure, and I'm going to get it through Big Bad Toy Store because one, um, it's going to be really big, and the, the shipping is going to be a lot, and... Um, well, not one. That's that's basically it. That's basically it. That's why I'm ordering it from here and not Ami Ami. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get the Dark Angel Livia. Dude, she looks so good. Look at her. One of my favorite characters in um, Shadowverse and Rage of Bahamut. Super cool. Super, super cool. Anyway, um, what I was gonna talk about Ami Ami real quick is that um, you can buy more than figures on Ami Ami. They, they specialize in figures, but if you go to trading cards here, you can get card games. You can get really lewd my dude. Um, trading cards where I don't know if it'll uh, I'll show you I'll show you you can get sleeves um, you can pre-order all sorts of stuff um, but what's really cool about the figures once again we're gonna go to the Bisho Joe figures what's really cool about the figures is that um, you can get really good deals not only do they have exclusive items that are usually quite expensive but you can also get pre-owned um, like used figures at really, really good deals. And I really like going through these sometimes and just kind of be like, oh, look at the, the pre-owned figures. So like, for example, um, let's take a look at this uh, Princess Connect. Ooh, actually, this one looks pretty cool. I do like the characters from, from Princess Connect. There's a lot of, um, there's a there's a pretty wide variation of, of figures here. So if you're into this kind of stuff, yo, they definitely have that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, it's, it's Ami Ami. So yeah, so here is uh, Kokoro from Princess Connect, and this one is a uh, pre-owned figure. You can kind of tell the, the the quality of the figure up here at the top. So it says pre-owned item A box B, or pre-owned item A box B, I'm sorry. So this means that the figure has an A grade and the box has a B grade. Uh, the box grading actually is very important to a lot of um, figure collectors, especially in Japan. To me, I don't really care all that much. But um, the A grade is what you want to look at. Uh, I've gotten B grade figures from Ami Ami that were pristine. So they are very, very strict on their grading on their figures. Like, I want to say pristine, maybe like a little little tiny nick or something. But if there's like a big thing, they will usually tell you here. So like this one is a, you can see a condition B box B. I wonder why this one's so much cheaper. So like, let's go to this one here. It's like a, quite a bit cheaper here. Does it list why? Usually it'll list why here, like, oh, arm arm damaged or something. This is a pretty good price, dude. This is pretty sweet. So like you can see like the difference here, right? Oh, because this one's B plus. B plus and this one's an this was an A. So if you like didn't really care about all that much and you wanted to save some some money, like you can just get the cheaper one. So this is 182 bucks for this one. And then the other one is like what 150? Something like that. Let's see. Let's see, you can do it. 145. So yeah, just always make sure to check out the pre-owned figures. I think it's good. It save you a lot of money. This one also looks really good. It's a really cool looking figure. Princess Connect has really cool looking stuff. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the mobile game. I'm mostly familiar with it from Shadowverse crossovers. So here are some trading cards if it'll it'll actually load. And you can kind of see, you can kind of see here. We're not gonna spend too much time on here. I don't think this is enough to get me demonetized, but there's like, the, these kind of trading cards, right? There's, there's like these kind of trading cards on here. Uh, maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe someday I'll do a video. I don't even know. I don't even know. I've never bought them. I've seen them, but I've never actually bought them. Or if you like uh, 
Zillions of Enemy X, We Cross, or any other Japanese card game. Um, there's a bunch of them like Lycee, Battle Spirits, um, the old Fire Emblem card game. This is a, the, the best place to order them. This this and uh, Amazon Japan. But like I said, you, you really have to take into shipping, uh, shipping into account and all that kind of stuff. I usually check both websites to see which one is, is going to be cheaper. The real big downside of AmiAmi is you, you can't see what the shipping is until you order it. Um, and they give you like a quote. Um, so that, that's like the, the big downside. But I highly recommend AmiAmi for all of your weeb needs. Like it's great. I've never bought like uh, movies or anything, but I know you can. They have video games. Yeah, I mean, this is not sponsored, by the way, unless, unless you want to sponsor me. Yo, Ami Ami, hit me up. Because, um, oh man, I'd love to get some, do some sponsored uh, figures or something like that. But yeah, those are the websites I would recommend. So Amazon Japan and Ami Ami. Those are the two best ones. Amazon Japan's a little bit easier because you can kind of see what the track, you can kind of see what the um, shipping is. But Ami Ami is just super reliable. Um, it, it's kind of bad kosher. It's kind of like, bad form not kosher to pre-order a figure and then just to, to cancel it um you can and i and i have at the start of 2020 i had some figures ordered that i had to cancel because of covid basically um i didn't have the money to drop you know 300 on figures and now that things are dying down i'm buying a lot more figures and we'll talk about that in another video too but i think i'm just kind of rambling here now i i do very much um I do very much like AmiAmi. Ami. I think it's the best way to go. And, you know, let me know in the comments down below if there's any other websites you want me to talk about. These are just the ones that stood out to me and the ones that I personally use. Like I said, I think Amazon is good. Um, Big Bad Toy Store is good, too. There's a bunch of other ones uh, in the U.S. that are great. And I'm sure uh, there's regional ver variants for you, too, if you live in, like, uh, like I said, or the U.K. or um, France or whatever. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. This was... One of the first videos on this new channel, and I hope I hope you like it. Um, there's going to be a lot more content kind of like this. Basically, the gist of it is, and I'm probably going to have a uh, a full like channel trailer kind of thing, even if people I don't even know if people do those anymore. I guess I'm going to do one, but um, it's just I, I buy a lot of stuff from Japan, and I like a lot of stuff from Japan. I read manga, I watch anime, and I was like, you know what? I'm making videos anyway. Might as well just make some fun videos about all of the stuff that I'm already buying. So that's what this channel is, just buying a bunch of stuff. And um, I figured this video would be the best way to start and to uh, show you how I how I buy stuff. Um, so like I said, if you do have suggestions, um, like other places to buy from, if you think they're really good, let me know in the comments down below. I know there's some really tricky stuff you can do. Like, um, before we go real quick, I'm just let's just go to Yuyute. So Yuyute, if you're into Japanese card games, Yuyute is um, a really, really good website for Japanese card games. However, they do not ship overseas, but you can sign up for like a, a proxy kind of thing where someone in Japan buys the stuff for you and then ships it to you. And there's a, there's a bunch of ways to do that. There's a bunch of websites that do that where you can just kind of like get someone to be your proxy. Uh, I'm not going to really go deep into that today. That's this whole other thing. Let me know if you'd like a video on that too. But... Um, this is the best website, by the way, to look at um, pricing for Japanese trading card games. Yuyute. It's just li literally, you can see here, Yuyute. I just type in Yuyute. Uh, I don't even have to type in like the space or anything. Just Yuyute. So like say, once again, ZXTCG, you, you, you bought, you went to Amazon Japan and you bought a booster box of ZXTCG and you're like, yo, what is the, um, the most expensive card in the set, right? So here, you can kind of see here, I got auto translated it. The auto translate feature is so, so nice. Um, so we're just gonna go to single card sale, a latest bullet, which means the latest booster pack. And we'll just uh, click on that and it'll have a list of all of the latest cards and their, their values. So you can see some of the cards here are worth um, a little bit. They're worth a little bit. This one's only worth 5,000 yen. This one's worth 34,000 yen. Holy freaking smokes, dude. Yeah, this is a game that only men of true culture, people of true culture can appreciate. Uh, wow, this one is ridiculously expensive, though. Look at that. Look at that. I, I had to. I had to. All right. So, yeah, there's a lot of other options is what I'm getting at. And um, if you'd like to share those options in the comments down below to other people, um, I would appreciate that. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more... Jap Japanese content, I guess. Have a good one, all. We'll see you later.